Hey guys, it's Missy from the Jollyfoot Elf. Welcome back to another week of cards and another stamp set that I'm featuring. This week it's gonna be the Wrapped in Warmth. So I'm gonna be using this May Your Christmas Be Wrapped in Love and this um, circle kind of knit um, heart today. Those are the two stamps I'm gonna use. For my designer series paper, I'm gonna use this, um, these pieces from Presents and Pine Cones. If you missed the announcement on my Facebook page, um, there should be a video going up today. It either went up before this or it's going up after this. That this designer series paper stack, um, pad, stack, pad, whatever, is part of the sale that Stampin' Up! has going on for the month of October where you buy three paper stacks and you get one free. And presents and pine cones and then the Candy Cane Lane designer series paper from the holiday catalog are both included in that. So if you're one who wants to make multiples like we're doing today um, and you want like all of one pattern, this is a great way to pick some up. And there are other patterns from the annual catalog as well. I will have a link to the blog post in the description box down below and you can just purchase those from my Stampin' Up! website. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by cutting these. So if you're new to Mass Producing Monday, I show you how to make a stack of cards. So today we're going to do 10. I'm going to start by cutting my designer series paper. I'm going to cut this at four by five and a quarter. So I have two pieces. Yep, now five and a quarter. And this will make it just slightly smaller. I meant to do this up here. I keep telling myself, cut at the top, Misty, cut at the top. The problem is I can't see it from the top, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna save the slap strip because I don't think I need it unless my math is off. We'll see. <laughs> I'm gonna make 10 cards today. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got one four by twelve sheet left. I'm gonna bring in my score tool next. I'm gonna make top folding cards. So I need my cards to be scored at five and a half. I do all my scoring first. It just makes it easier than having to score individual pieces once they've been cut. And I honestly don't know where anything is. <laughs> Let's see if I can find my stylus. There it is. So I'm going to score these at five and a half. Because I'm going to cut them at four and a quarter and they're going to be top folding cards. Let's see if you can see this. I need a bigger work surface. Or I just need to clean mine off. One of the two. You may never know. <laughs> Actually, I'm sure you do know. I'm sure you do know. Rob and I had a great time on vacation. Hope you guys enjoyed the videos while I was gone. That's why I haven't been responding to any comments because I really couldn't. Unfortunately, for creators, YouTube doesn't do a very good job with their mobile app, so it's a little frustrating that I couldn't do as much as I wanted to get done while on vacation. Oops, I ripped that. 
So let me bring in my Stampin' Up! trimmer. And again, I'm gonna cut these at four and a quarter. This is our Thick Whisper White, since it's gonna be a card base. Four and a quarter. Oops. from manufacturer, I guess. Okay. So we're done with our cutter. Now I am gonna cheat a little bit. <laughs> I We no longer have this punch. It's been retired. We do have a coordinating framelit um, this size, but I don't want to use it today. I want to use a punch. I'm talking about the two and a half inch circle punch. There is the layering circle framelits. There is a two and a half inch one, but I want to use this because I want to. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to put it in as far as it can go and I'm going to put it in the middle and I'm going to punch it. So I'm going to, and I'm going to save these scraps for another card. So again, all the way in, center, punch. Okay, we're done with the punch. So I'm going to save these scraps. Oh no, kitty cat! Kitty cat dos! Hi! Hi, you're in the way. Did you know? Did you know you're in the way? Hi! Hi! Hi, you're going to say hi to your friends? Hi. She had a really hard time the first two nights that we've been home. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday. We got home late Sunday, and I um, I had intended on filming yesterday, but I was just so tired. It was a long trip. It was 15 days. So we didn't board her. We um, My sister-in-law came in over every few days to check on her, but she's been very needy and very clingy ever since then, so... Yeah, yeah, her Mr. Mama and Dada. Right, Rox Rox? Right, Rox Rox? Okay, can you get down? Mama's trying to work. I gotta get some work done. There you go. There you go. Okay. I know a couple of people express this pleasure in her being on my desk when I'm crafting, but... She's my cat and sometimes she's gonna be up here. Sometimes I'll leave her, sometimes I won't. So I'm gonna fold these in half, just on the score line. So I'm just lining up. Oh, Roxy, come on now. Mama's trying to work. Mama's trying to get some work done. <laughs> I gotta get this work done. People want videos. I'm just folding the cards in half, so you're not missing much. But I will move her when I'm ready to move on to something else. Hey, stop. Roxy, come on now. Ooh. Here, why don't you sit in this box? This is this box of all this side. Look at it. You want in the box? Nope, you don't want in the box. <laughs> oh, my word. Looks like she went and had some breakfast. <laughs> so yeah, she's the first night, Sunday night. Oh my God, she was so distraught and meowy and was on us all night, like in our room. We leave the door open now. I think I mentioned that. Just because she just, she's so, she really is a needy cat. <laughs> And so I just told Rob, I was like, we've just got to leave it open. You know, she just needs us. And she just needs that reassurance that we're there. So Sunday night, <laughs> she kept coming in and she would meow and she would get on the bed and she would go to Rob and he would pet her and then she'd come to me and I would pet her. A couple times she got on my chest 
and just laid down and let me pet her or she just wanted to be in the room where it happened. <laughs> so we, um, oh, Roxy, I'm gonna have to kick you out. Neither one of us got much sleep on Sunday night. Last night, she wasn't nearly as bad. She came in probably around 12.30 to about 2.30, and then she kind of went and did her own thing. Or she kept doing it, and I was just so out of it, I didn't even notice. Hey. Hey. You're killing my, you're killing my, you're killing my clock here. I'm on the clock. Come on, Roxy. Please don't make me have to shut you out. Go. Thank you. So anyway, it's been, it's been a couple of long nights, so, and I woke up this morning like at six, maybe it was seven, I don't remember, whenever Rob left, he had to go back to work today. I am sick, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I am starting to get sick. I had taken this week off anyway, so I go to the doctor today to find out. Roxy, no, no, no ma. No, no, no. <clears throat> okay. So I have all my card bases folded and ready to go. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to bring in this. And I'm going to kind of line it up where I think it's going to go. I'm going to use a pencil, and I'm just going to mark the bottom. I should probably did it a little lighter than that. <laughs> Misty. There we go. And this is because I want to stamp in the middle of the circle. Okay, I'm gonna start by stamping my little circle and I'm gonna use tray cobbler for this. I'm gonna be punching this out with the one inch circle punch, but you guys know how I am with red. So I'm gonna stamp this and get it out of the way. check my hands doing pretty good I just got my nails done yesterday another reason why I didn't film yesterday I need to put my rings back on my nails were looking bad I had these are not my real nails you could probably tell I had the silver nails done because I had ripped all of my real nails off while I was in the hospital and then while I was at home recovering so I'm going to be using the sentiment. I'm going to be stamping it with early espresso. I'm going to stamp it just above that pencil line. Just like that. And it looks distressed, but that's what the stamp looks like. And I need to stamp that a little straighter. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh my word, I just realized I didn't hit the play button or the record button. Jeez Louise. 
Okay, so I messed up <laughs> on a few of these and I decided, nope, I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna put these aside. I'm gonna do something else. So I found five that I did a pretty good job on. All I did was put snail on the back of these, line them up, erase the pencil mark. So you see I've got five pretty decent ones. They're not great, but they're not, not horrible. Then I took my one inch circle punch and I punched out um, five hearts. And now I'm putting dimensionals on the back so I can attach them to the cards. I'm so sorry. I thought I'd hit record. I'd had to, um, I had to grab some snail. Then I remembered I needed to call the post office so they would deliver my mail. So, oh, I got a little distracted. You didn't miss much though. You didn't miss much. So I'm gonna add this right there on that one. 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 And then right there on that one. And then one last thing I want to do is bring in my enamel shapes. <clears throat> to give me two or three days to get back in the swing of things again. My word. Okay, where are my enamel shapes? There they are. So I've got some tree cobbler ones. Let's put the little hearts in the center of each of these hearts. So I'm just using my scissors to pick them up and these are in the Regals collection. I'll just put it just like that and you missed that too. Jesus Mary Joseph I missed it. Get your act together. <laughs> these are self-adhesive so you just got to make sure that you get the adhesive with the shape. This actually worked out perfect because I have five of these and I have five cards. So there you go. It was meant to be. Oh my word, guys. <laughs> that was, that was rough, wasn't it? Oh my word. At least we got there in the end. Of course, it was only with five out of 10 cards, but I think they still turned out nice. And yeah. So I'm not gonna do the where you place an order and you get a chance to win this because honestly, nobody placed an order. Um, to win any of the card sets. So I will have all of these either for sale at some point or um, I may give them as gifts if you make a purchase in the month of October or whatever month we're in. So I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna switch things up, but I will. Don't forget the designer series paper sale that goes through October 31st. So yeah, thanks so much for joining me guys. All the description, um, excuse me, all the links will be in the description box down below. You can find all the supplies linked over at my blog and you'll also find the blog posts in the description box down below. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time and this brought a little jolly in your day. Talk to you in the next one. Bye for now.